Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In the last video in this series, I showed how an AutoCAD attributed block could be set up to be indexed into Vault so the properties within that block could be read. In this video, I show how to set up Vault so it can make use for these properties and complete the circle. So let's have a look. To begin this process, I start out in Autodesk Vault Explorer. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the Tools and Vault Settings pull down so I can set up my property. Inside the Vault Settings dialog box, I'm going to choose the Properties button. Now within the new dialog box, I'm going to choose the new button to create a new property. I'll call this property Facility Location. Next, I'm going to map the actual AutoCAD block property into the Vault property. This is where the connection is made. I'm going to click in the Empty File Property box to bring up the Import Properties button and choose Import from Vault. Now the seed file that I've checked in in the last video can be located by browsing through Vault. A list of the properties will appear. Browsing through the list will show the title block Enter Facility Name property, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll accept this value and close the dialog boxes. We're not quite done yet, there are a few more steps to go. First, I'm going to show the new property inside of Autodesk Vault Explorer by right clicking on the title bar and choosing Customize View. Now I can find that new property, show it in Vault, and arrange it by using the Move Up and Move Down buttons. Accepting this, the field will appear in Vault Explorer, but it's empty, so we have to fix that. So we have one big step left. I'm going to return to the ADMS console, which would be on your server, select the vault inside of the ADMS console, and choose Re-Index Properties. This re-reads the properties so they can be updated and will show the new property in vault. It's important to note that this process can take a little while, so give it some time to finish up. But once that's done, return to Vault Explorer and hit F5 to go ahead and refresh your vault. And now, the process is finished. It might seem a little long-winded, but remember you're only going to do this a few times and once it's done, it's done. So you'll be able to take advantage of it from this point forward. Now, any other AutoCAD files that contain that same block will populate the fields from this point forward. So with that heavy lifting done, now you can reap and enjoy those benefits. That's it for this video, and thanks for watching this series. I hope you find it helpful.